Songs of the Return, Volume 5 Part of the traditional legend of Isgrimor and his 500 companions. It came to pass that our great lord Isgrimor, the harbinger of us all, sat before an encampment fire. The crews of the Yorvasco and Fallowfire and the Kalkaz bade him eat and boast and drink. For the boon members of the five hundred companions were abroad in the land. Stories were told, hearts won and lost, and always the smell of roasting meat hung in the air. The greatest of us all beckoned every warrior to his side and spoke the tale of Wolfrad's forging. Every mare the harbinger slew died at Wolfrad's bite. All through the long campaign, the only weapon that would fit in the harbinger's hand was the mighty Wolfrad. As he told it, the most legendary of axes was forged in the darkest of nights. It was the Night of Tears, Isgramor sat staring out across the waters. He rode upon the last ship in his fleet, fleeing Tamriel for the shores of Atmora. From that vantage point, he watched as Sarfal, the first city, burned. A swollen sky poured rain upon the flames and upon the sea, and the greatest of us all wept bitter tears. So great was the grief of the harbinger that, instead of salty sorrow, Isgrimo wept tears of purest ebony. His eldest, Ingol, collected the tears in a stein and held his father in a warm embrace. He poured mead down the harbinger's great throat, wrapped furs around the harbinger's great shoulders, and slung the harbinger into a great hammock below decks. Then he set to work, for Ingol, eldest son of the harbinger of us all, was the greatest smith our people have ever known. There, on the sea, Ingol set to work with his tombs. He used lightning to heat the night's tears, the oceans swell to cool them, and always his hammer blows rang in concert with the rising wind. When Isgrimor awoke the next morning, Ingol presented him with a mighty axe, hewn from the sorrow that had laid him low just the night before, and the harbinger of us all embraced his son. He cried out in joy, sadness, and rage, and there on the deck of the last ship from Safal, Isgrimor named his axe Wufrat, which means Storm's Tears in the language of Atmora. It was then, in telling the tale, that Isgrimo paused. The harbinger of us all called out to Lost Ingle, who had been with the crew of the Harak in the storm of separation. For his son, his eldest and greatest joy, was with him always. He who had bound the storm's tears, he said, rode with him always in the days of the noble and honored five hundred.